I, mean, I love this idea that they shouldn't. Where would you come up with the idea that they shouldn't? I think we should have a Hippocratic Oath in economics like we have one in medicine, because there is, you know, the, the, in many ways, first do no harm. It's an important starting point. And if you give a diagnosis which uh, leads to real damage, then you should wear the consequences of doing that. Frankly, you know, if you, if you looked at the track record of the profession in the, just in the last 10 years and how you know, woefully poor it's been, and you said, all right, if the medical profession had that track record, you know, if you, if you sent uh, a certain percentage of the people into the hospital and they came out um, with as many wrong predictions as many uh, you know, botched operations as, as the economics profession has had in predicting the 08 crisis. In addition to making economists more accountable for the advice they provide, I think it would also be quite helpful to have some sort of model like accreditation scheme where we subject models to a bunch of like validation exercises to see how well they perform. Not just the economist who provides the advice that matters, it's also the policy makers, the lobbyists, the public, the public, you know, who, who should um, scrutinize what they listen to. And uh, if they don't understand something, if it's too complicated or if it doesn't make sense, well, you know, then uh, why do they follow the, uh, the, the Pied Piper? Uh, economists as theorists have rather little impact on what's going on. And I mentioned the name of Thomas Piketty already in terms of inequality. And despite the fact that his book was a huge bestseller, uh, I think it was a book a bit like uh, A Brief History of Time by Stephen Hawking, a book that sold an amazing number of copies and was read, read by an amazingly few uh, group, uh, very amazingly small group of people. There's a lot of economics and you can choose whatever economics suits you, suits your political and policy uh, priors. Uh, and you can cherry pick the evidence. And oftentimes our methods are just flexible enough to give you the answer that you want. And uh, so I think, um, yes, uh, economists have to, do have an obligation to do good science and good research uh, and to have the, the, the highest standards in the work that they do. But that's only ha half the story. I think how their ideas are used is a is a, an important part of the story as well. Should uh, international relations scholars be held accountable for the fact that uh, they publish books uh, saying that America's mission is to install install democracy over the world? Uh, should they? Let's take the leading figure. Uh, I mean, should they be held accountable to the consequences of that? Has consequences. Policymakers say our duty is to install democracy. So let's invade Iraq and destroy the country and set the Middle East to flames because our mission is to install democracy. Should they be held accountable to that? <laughs>